Good day, everyone. Let's talk about sea level change and how we're all going to die from it. But only if you listen to the mainstream media. But in reality, we'll be just fine because the seas are only rising about 1.5 millimeters a year on average. And even though no one has ever died from that tiny of a sea level rise rate, the news media continues their Armageddon propaganda on a daily basis. That propaganda, unfortunately, gets a lot of traction. And here's why. There's an old proverb that goes something like this. If you don't know where you came from, then you don't know who you are and you don't know where you're going. In other words, if you don't know the history of humanity and climate change, you're adrift at sea and clueless about the world and will be more likely to believe anything the news media tells you. So here's a small segment of Earth and climate history. We are in the Pleistocene Ice Age, which started about 2.5 million years ago. In these last 2.5 million years, Earth has had over 40 glaciation cycles. Prior to the Pleistocene Ice Age, the Earth was much warmer and there was no ice at the poles. We are now living in a period of Earth's history which is the coldest ever on record. And the trend shows it's going to get even colder. Al Gore has picked the wrong crisis. The next climate crisis will be the next Ice Age glaciation. But a little closer to home, let's look at the last 500,000 years. This graph shows sea levels during the last five glaciations of the Pleistocene, which on average were about 100,000 years apart. Sea level data was obtained from marine core sediment analyses from oceanic and Red Sea core drillings. We are here today at the current interglacial warm period. And here is the prior interglacial warm period. Those warm periods are great for humans and other life forms. But in between, there were some very cold Ice Age glaciations. Where New York City was covered with thick glaciers more than a mile high. The climate back then was a crisis for life on Earth. For this is when the Neanderthals and other life forms went extinct. So now look at the sea level height scale on the left side. It's in feet and it shows that the seas regularly rose and fell by about 400 feet during each glaciation cycle. That's 400 feet, folks. And we're worried about a teensy-weensy 1.5 millimeters a year? Furthermore, look at the difference between now and the last interglacial warm period. The seas were even higher than today. In fact, the seas were as much as 25 feet higher than today. So if the seas rose another 25 feet, that would be perfectly normal. Fortunately, our ancestors didn't have propaganda news outlets. They instead had common sense. Back then, when the seas started to rise, they just picked up their huts and tents and moved them inland. And when the seas again lowered, they just picked up their huts and tents and moved them closer to the seashore. Simple. Our ancestors were the smart ones. Today, fully knowing that the seas go up and down about 400 feet each ice age cycle, we are still erecting steel and concrete huts and tents along the seashore, which can't be moved. And we call ourselves a modern civilization. Mother Nature is laughing her head off. So for those ancestral descendants that study real climate science, the seas could easily rise up 25 feet or more. It's amazing how powerful our sun is. And so scenes like this are completely normal. And for the climate educated humans, this is no surprise. So for today's highly intelligent modern civilization, why aren't we preparing for the potential of the next 25 feet of natural sea level rise? In the meantime, ignore the media, educate yourself, and enjoy our climatic optimum while it's still in the warm phase. Until next time, clear skies and fair winds.